Hello, I'm Werner Sober and this is the TDC and Position Keeper targeting system tutorial. At first, let's take a look at the devices. The um, TDC on the left side contains um, the torpedo setting device and the Position Keeper. So let's take a closer look at the position keeper. You can see two dials and information about range and speed. The lower dial represents your own vessel. You can read your own true course, the true course of the torpedo and the gyro angle as well. The upper dial represents your target. You can read its true course, which is defined by the angle on bow, and also the torpedo impact angle. And finally we have the position keeper switch and status indicator. On the right side we have the data input device which contains the steady meter, angle on bow and the speed finder. It's basically used to send the gathered information to the TDC. And finally the attack map. Note that the following example is based on the imaginary target is no real target. So let's see what happens when we activate the position keeper without target information. Well a white cross appears, it uh, shows the interception point or the location of your target if you want. Next let's set up the angle on bow to be 80 to port and note that the true course of the target has changed to north. The white line represents the target's true course on the attack map. When you know the target's true course, you can easily find the angle on bow by adjusting it uh, until the true course is matching in TDC. So imagine your target is heading southeast at a course of 135. Adjust the angle on bow until the front of the ship signed on the TDC target dial is heading to 135. As you can see, the target is now facing southeast on the attack map. But uh, let's face it back to north. Now let's uh, just set up a random range and see what happens. Well, the interception point appears closer now. Keep in mind that sending the range to TDC also sends the bearing of your optics, so basically you are sending the exact location by sending just the range. I have now sent the range while targeting to bearing 4-0. Note that the true course has changed and uh, must be corrected by the new angle on bow every time you take a new location mark. So now we have to adjust the angle on bow to match the true course again to north. The white line is facing north again. Always check that the true course in TDC is matching true course from your calculation. Now let's set up some speed. I'm gonna set a speed of 12 knots and see what happens. Well, the white cross is moving along the white line at a speed of 12 knots. The solution is complete so far. It can be corrected at any time, however. But first, let's see how the torpedo settings influence the solution. You can see how the gyro angle is changing according to the torpedo speed and spread angle settings. Now let's talk about how to make changes to an active firing solution. Imagine the target has suddenly changed its course to heading 4-5. All we have to do is actually just change the angle on bow until the true course reads 4-5.
Of course, you should always take a new location mark by sending new range every time you make changes to your firing solution. So let's say we discover the target being at bearing 5-0. We must send the new location mark and correct the angle on bow according to its new course. As a final note, I uh, would like to remind you to resend the range always last when your solution is ready, because that's the only way to send bearing information. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and I wish you a good hunting.